I have a story for you guys. Sure you can tell by the title. And before we get too far into the video, I need to put out a quick little disclaimer before anyone like freaks out at me. Yes, the snake I'm about to show you did actually go through a full cycle in the washing machine. No, I didn't do it. It didn't happen in my care. I was not the one who put the snake in the washing machine. Please don't freak out at me. I just got the snake today after it went through the washing machine. So the snake ending up in the washing machine was not my fault. Now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the actual video. So here we have a ball python that I picked up today. She is a snake that I'm fostering. Um, I'm not going to be keeping her because I just, I don't have the space for another ball python right now. So I'm just temporarily fostering her until I can find her a good home. But she has a little bit of an interesting story because she survived a full cycle in the washing machine. So I'm not gonna go super into detail with how I ended up with the snake, but basically there was just someone who didn't have the time to care for their snake anymore, and I went and picked it up for them, and I'm now housing it until we can find it a good home. So I go to their house earlier today, and I go to get the snake, and I had never seen any pictures of it or anything before. All I knew was that it was an adult ball python. And as they take the snake out to show me, they show me that there is some scars on the snake's back. I don't, it won't focus, come on. My camera does not want to focus, but there's basically like a scar all down the snake's back, which is the black line that you see there. And there's another very prominent spot on its tail here. So that is a scar also. Um, there's kind of just a few other spots throughout the body, but those are the main ones you can see. There's this one on the tail, and then there's one kind of all down its back. So here you can kind of see a good look at one of her scars. All of these darker scales there are scarred scales. And if you sort of follow up her back, it looks like she does have a straight line of scarred scales. And then when you get up here, you can see another little patch over there a bit more. So as I was getting the snake and everything, they pointed these scars out to me and said that she had gotten them because she went through a full cycle in the washing machine. Yeah, she went through a full cycle in the washing machine. I mean, clearly she survived. She is right here, but she does have some scars on her, which I mean, considering she went through the washing machine, I would honestly expect this snake to be dead, but she's alive, thankfully. I'm going to go ahead and place her back quickly just so that it's easier for me to talk, so. But I will still like include clips of her throughout the rest of this video and whatnot, but I'm gonna put her down for now. So after they told me that the snake had gone through the washing machine, I was a little bit confused, as you know, most people probably would be. How does a snake end up in the washing machine, and why did you turn the washing machine on with a snake inside of it? Thankfully, it was an accident. It was not intentional. Thank God, that would be horrible. It was an accident that the snake ended up in the washing machine. Basically, what they told me was they had this snake. It was, it's, it's their pet, um, but it escaped one day. It escaped out of its cage and they didn't know where it was and then they found it after doing laundry. So basically what had happened was the snake escaped, it got out of its cage and it climbed into a pile of dirty clothes which were then picked up and thrown into the washing machine. The washing machine was turned on, it, from what they told me it was a full cold water cycle with laundry detergent everything and somehow the snake is alive. I really don't understand that. You really would think that it would like die or if it like inhaled any of the soapy water that like the dish or that the laundry detergent, you know, probably might kill it. But no, the snake is alive, thankfully. And I mean, I don't know how long ago this happened that the snake went through the washing machine. They didn't like tell me a time, but I mean, it healed really well. It's scars are all healed over. There's no like open wounds or anything. So that's really good. And I'm happy that she healed well. So overall, the snake does appear to be fairly healthy. She is a little bit small for what most female ball pythons are, but she may just be a smaller snake. It's nothing like super concerning or anything. She's just a little bit on the smaller side, um, but she's not really underweight. She's a decent weight. Um, there's 
no like visible things wrong with her. I mean, obviously she does have those scars and she does have a little bit of stuck shed, just a tiny bit though. So that's really no problem. I'm not going to soak her right now because it is such a small area that I think her being in her new enclosure with the proper humidity, it might just come off on its own. If it doesn't, I'll I'll get it off no problem but I'm going to give her a little bit of time to see if it'll come off on its own given the proper humidity because her enclosure that she was in before looked to be really dry I don't think that they had a hydrometer so I don't know the exact humidity but she was kept on like aspen bedding with like a heat lamp and stuff and like a completely screen top so I have a feeling the humidity was quite low so hopefully with her new enclosure and higher humidity the shed will come off on its own so this here is her enclosure it's a fairly simple setup but as i've mentioned before i am only fostering her so you know whoever gets her next can definitely upgrade her i am going to give all of the supplies away whoever does adopt her i am going to give them this full setup though and then they can you know add on to it make it bigger whatever but they will be getting this whole thing when they adopt her but either way i will only be adopting her out to someone who knows how to properly care for her and knows how to deal with like the proper enclosure size heating and all of that so i will be making sure that she goes to a good home but this is her enclosure for the time being so she does have two hides this is her warm hide and then this is her cool hide she can fit her whole body inside both of them no problem so she can go right in there and get nice and warm and then she can get nice and cool over here and she does also have a water dish over here and then just some fake plants around her enclosure. As for the substrate, this is a mix of cocoa husk and cocoa fiber. It's quite damp right now because this is the stuff that like comes in bricks and you have to sort of, you know, wet it so that it expands, but this will dry out a little bit because it's definitely a little wet right now for sure. But hopefully with this substrate and stuff, it will help her get those few pieces of stuck shed off. Since they are so small, I do think that they will just come off on their own. I don't think I'll end up having to soak her or anything, but I will be keeping an eye on her just to make sure because you never know. So over this area up here kind of by her neck is where the few pieces of stuck shed are you can kind of see one over there and there is a little bit over here but once again i'm just going to be monitoring that and then maybe if in like two days it hasn't come off on its own i'll give her a soak or something but there she is a very cute snake but yeah um that was just sort of a little bit of an interesting story that i found out when I went to pick up the snake, like I said, this was just earlier today that I picked her up. No idea before I went there that the snake had gone through the washing machine and survived. I only found that out as I was picking it up, so that was um, interesting information to say the least. But as I said, thankfully she is doing really good now and Hopefully she will be going to a new home soon, which will give her all of the proper care. In the meantime, she is here with me. I'm just taking care of her until she finds a permanent home because I don't have the space full time. I just set her up in a temporary tub enclosure. It's perfectly suitable though. It has two hides. She has some climbing branches, her water dish, lots of fake plants. So it is a completely appropriate home for her, but yeah, that's, that's just what's going on with her. So unfortunately, accidents and stuff do sometimes happen. I mean, obviously we should always be doing our best to prevent things like this. You really don't want your snake to end up in the washing machine under any circumstances, but you know, Things happen and um, the people who I got the snake from were very nice. You could tell that they did very much care about the animal when I picked it up. The guy was very much, he was like, I don't want any money for this. I don't want anything. I just want to make sure that it goes to a good home. They were very nice and they clearly cared about this animal even though, you know, accidents sometimes happen. But thankfully the snake is okay because a situation like that could have ended up a lot worse. But thankfully it didn't and now I have this lovely snake in my care and we will be working to find her a new home. Now I know 
I have a feeling that um, since I've said this, I've, I'm probably going to get a decent amount of comments of you guys saying you would be interested in taking her and all that stuff. And while I appreciate that a ton, I do want to say that I'm only going to be adopting her out to someone locally. I won't be shipping her or anything. I will only be adopting her locally. So unless you are in Nova Scotia, Canada, I appreciate you offering to take her. But um unless you're in Nova Scotia, Canada. I can't do that right now, so, but thank you for offering if you were thinking of it. So, um, I guess that was really it. That was our nice little introduction to this new ball python. I have nicknamed her Laundry because obvious reasons. It's just, I mean, obviously I'm not keeping her. I don't think the next owner will want to call her Laundry, but I have nicknamed her Laundry. So that was Laundry and a little bit of her story of what happened and why she has scars all over her and yeah this is the story of a snake who was put in the washing machine um went through a full load of laundry and survived it's an interesting one you know i can't say i've heard of this happening before hopefully this isn't something that happens that often so it's probably good that i haven't heard of it before because that would be kind of concerning if you out there watching own snakes please don't put them in the laundry machine please make sure you're not putting your snakes through the wash you know try to prevent that as best as you possibly can because it's not something you want to do i don't really know what else to say hopefully you guys enjoyed this video that feels kind of like wrong to say because why would you I don't really know what to say, is my point. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. Everything is just MSAM99. It will all be linked in the description below, so be sure to check all of that out. I would love to have you guys follow me over there. All of this said, thank you guys once again for watching and I will see you all in my next video.